While a lot of us think of black history as happening in speeches in Washington, D.C., marches in Selma, Alabama, or the sit-ins of downtown Tallahassee, it's important for us at Leon High School to recognize that history happened right here within our own hallways. A lot of us take for granted an integrated school with people of all races going to class together. It's important for us to remember that Leon High School was founded in 1871 as a white-only school. Integration came as a result of the Supreme Court case Brown versus the Department of Education. The first year that Tallahassee integrated public schools, three black students chose to go to Leon High School when given the opportunity. Marilyn Hollifield, Philip Hadley, and Harold Knowles. Harold Knowles tells his story. In 19, I believe it was 63, the Leon County School Board sent out what was known as a uh, freedom of choice form to all black students in Leon County so that black students could elect to go to any school in the county. Previously, we had only been allowed to go to all black schools in our neighborhoods. So this was a way for the local school board to meet the mandates that had been set out by the federal courts to integrate the schools here. My parents filled out the form and indicated that they wanted me to transfer from old Lincoln High School, not the current Lincoln High School, but there's an old Lincoln High School that was all black that was located over, over behind the governor's mansion now. I was attending that school at the time and I applied to transfer to Leon. Context of that was um, when we were at Lincoln, old Lincoln High School, we never had new books. We would only get hand-me-down books from Leon. They were marked up, written in, and whatever. We got used equipment. I can remember very clearly being in a, a biology class, and we had one microscope for the entire class. So we would have to walk around a table and look at a specimen one by one on a microscope, because that was all we had in that class. When I got to Leon, it was one microscope for every two students, very different. We were all surprised that there were only three students. The, the three of us were surprised because we just couldn't believe that our fellow students wouldn't take advantage of this really once in a lifetime opportunity. For Harold Knowles, getting a better education at Leon wasn't always easy. I can't say that I felt that I was mistreated by any, any of the teachers, they were pretty much for the most part neutral, um, as was m the majority of the student body, believe it or not. I mean, these, these were kids, they were more concerned about, you know, who's got a new car, who's, who you're going to the prom with, who, you know, kid stuff. You know, and they left us alone. Now there was a small group that um, really took it upon themselves to make our lives as miserable as they could. Uh, but. You know, they greet us at the door every day. They knew, they knew which route we took to come into the school. So they'd be right there near the back entrance of the school to, uh, to greet us every day. They would have little, little uh, dirty poems and, you know, nigger this, nigger that. Uh, we got pretty used to it. I mean, it was just one of those things that you had to endure uh, if you wanted to get the best education possible. So we just, sucked it up, as I say, and uh, moved on. And while Harold Knowles received hate at Leon High School, he was also criticized within the black community. The reaction of the black community was, oh, you think you're too good to go to a black school? You think you're too good? Why are you, why are you going to a white high school? You're too good for us? And so we were very, you know, very puzzled. As kids, we were thinking like, you had the opportunity to go to a, to a white high school. You made the decision not to go. That was your decision. Uh, why are you criticizing us for going to, to seek the best education that we can, we can get for ourselves? So it was a very rough period. When you think about the day-to-day -day things you had to go through and endure at Leon, and then when you go back to your own community, a lot of a lot of those folks, a lot of a lot of the black folks, did not receive what we were doing very well either. 
Harold Knowles had an interesting reaction when he was asked what students today think of the Civil Rights Movement and the integration of Leon High School. That would be my son. Uh, Dad, that's ancient history. That's 50 years ago. My son who practices law with me now. Um, he doesn't think much of it because when he came along in school, uh, the schools were totally integrated. The, you know, he had white friends day one from kindergarten on up. Uh, so it's a foreign concept to him and others. They, 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 they don't remember a time when, um, when people from all walks of life and all cultures and all skin colors were together in school. So I don't think that there's as much of an appreciation for it um, as it should be because those, those were times when the world was at odds with itself. I mean, you know, my world was at odds with itself. And I just think that um, it happened. We got the benefit of it, even though we suffered the brunt of it, we got the benefit of it at the end of the day. So, and, and I'm proud that my son doesn't totally understand it because that means that the world has really truly changed. A lot gets said about the past during Black History Month, but what's important is moving forward. Pioneers like Harold Knowles and his classmates have all contributed to the Leon community we have today. It's up to us to build a stronger community now for the Leon High School students of the future.